Hello, my name is Scott Damon, I'm with Biotest, and today I'm going to show you a quick example of one of our jumping protocols, the counter movement jump, also known as the vertical jump test. The idea here is to show how the Biotest is a very quick and easy product to get real important performance information such as height of jump, power, uh, force or strength that's generated, and the velocity and the speed of the movement. Most coaches do use certain modalities to measure height of jump, for example, a vertex for a jump and reach, which the science has shown that height of jump does correlate with power, but what we're really looking to do here is peel a few more layers back and understand what are those performance characteristics that generate that height of jump. Let's take a look at the power and see the two components that, that generate power, force of movement and speed of movement. So let me run you through a quick example here to illustrate how this works. I have the mild test turned on, and I'm going to click enter under tests and select jump CMJ. You see we have some other testing protocols built into the device for bench press and squat. I need to enter my body weight in, in this case, 202 pounds. And I can now select repetitions anywhere from 1 to 20 repetitions. In this case, I'm going to go with 3. Go down to next, it says place sensor on the belt, press enter to start, wait for beep three repetitions. So we are ready to go. I'm now going to affix the mile test onto the band that I have around the hips. Okay. For this example, I'm going to have my hands on the hips. Our recommendation is to have the hands in some sort of neutral position, whether it's on the hips, maybe in a volleyball block, or behind the head, or maybe on this position but keep the hands in a neutral position, keep the upper body as quiet as possible. We really want to focus on power production of the lower extremities. The mild test could still test for this type of movement, but in this example, we're really trying to keep the upper body quiet to focus on what's going on down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button to start the test. And when I hear the beep, I'm gonna make my jump. Come back resting. Okay, the double beat means that the test was performed successfully. Now I have some instant results that I'll share with you. The displayed information is the average of my three repetitions. So you can see height of jump at 12.8 inches. That's vertical hip displacement. That's not jump and reach. It's truly how high the hips are moving from the ground. We have the power at 43.4 watts per kilo of body weight. The force that's produced, 22.9 Newton per kilo of body weight, and the velocity, 230 centimeters per second. I'm going to go ahead and save that data. I can at any time go back to the mild test and retrieve that information. We can hold roughly 300 tests at a time, but I also now have the option to download this into the mild test web platform, which is free, it's included with every mild test purchase, or into the mild test professional software, which offers a much more detailed breakdown of the movement. So I hope this quick demonstration offers how the mild test is a very quick and efficient way to get the really good performance information so we can baseline where the athlete stands today, work on the training, come back, do a post-test to see if we've made improvement, but also when we come back and look at that improvement, we can see is that improvement coming more from a force or strength perspective or a speed and velocity perspective. So if you'd like some more information on the mild test, please visit the web at www myotest.com, M-Y-O-T-E-S-T. We also will be posting some other videos on YouTube that you can check out. Thanks for taking a look.